Hey guys, it's your boy, 1010, here to explain why I rebranded. Now rebranding is something that's very difficult to do. It's something that takes a lot of thought and a lot of work and you're not sure if it's the right move. But in my situation, I'm confident I've made the right decision. And today I'm gonna explain why I rebranded, what the future of the channel is going to look like and heading forward what I want to do with the channel and my personal content and such. So let's get into why I rebranded. Now there is a lot of reasons to rebrand. There's, you know, it's possibly your name was inappropriate. You made it as a kid, you no longer like it. You know the branding wasn't good anything like that and I definitely fall into a lot of those categories and the big one of the bigger things was my name wasn't unique my name I shared with fair, various other streamers very large streamers and content creators and never ran into the issue before with that but now as I move on and put more effort into my content it's slowly becoming an issue of I'm no longer a unique streamer my content while well, unique is not being associated with a brand that is unique right so personally I want I'm looking to move on to my own branding and another big thing was I've kind of slowly stopped liking the name Thundershot over the year past a year-ish right well I think it's a cool name I just feel like it does not fit my personal branding right I mean we all know I brand everything around a single character right I've held myself high in that regard right? it's my favorite character of all time right and I'm fine with branding as such I have no issue branding to this and so when I was sitting down thinking about what I wanted to rebrand to because obviously I didn't have a unique name I wasn't able to really be proud of my content fully because I knew I would never be able to have this unique name or unique branding or you know I was never my it never felt like my own content because it felt like I would always live in the shadow of bigger content creators when I share a name with them right so that's kind of why I rebranded it and also it's just it felt as I'm in this transition period it felt right as well because like I'll explain later in this video is I'm going to be transitioning my content a lot right it's going to be serious to my content but I'm transitioning the amount of content I make what my content's going to look like and a bunch of other stuff that I can't even talk about in this video just because we I haven't fully fleshed out a lot of ideas or and such so all right i'm gonna get into why the name 1010 now like i said before 1010 is my favorite character in any franchise any media of all time and i'm i've pre pretty much been open about this it's not like a situation where i'm like well yeah i kind of like her so i guess throw it in. no it's like my favorite character of all time Right, it's like up there with like Spike Spiegel, it's up there with, you know, Jay Gatsby and, you know, all these really cool characters, but she's one of my favorite characters of all time, any media, anything like that, right? And so, when choosing to rebrand, if you guys have been on any of my streams, you notice I had a form going out, multiple different variations of the form, and 1010 always seemed to be high on that list of what people thought would be a cool name to rebrand to. So... When thinking about rebranding, I heavily thought about what my audience would like and what I think I would like. And it just all came down to utilizing 1010. And I looked into it and no, there's no copyright rules. Right, I can just use the name 1010. Uh, of course, there is still a bigger content creator on YouTube. But I, if you look at their content, I am not afraid of getting DMC'd or overshadowed by them. So... Let's get into, I think, what's going to be the most impactful to the audience, right? It's going to be 
the content from here on out. The content from here on out, it's still going to be very similar to Overwatch. That's the content I'm looking to put out, at least on my Twitch streams, which is uh, twitch.tv forward slash 1010 underscore OW. Just because 1010 and 1010 OW was taken. And all the, so many variations of it was taken. So, I'm still going to be playing Overwatch on stream. You might see different content on my YouTube channel though. And I'm going to be looking to do... I was over summer. Which for me would be starting like the second week of May. At least a video a week. If not more. Right? I want to start putting out regular content. Because I want this eventually to be my full time job. I want to do this as a job. I want to do this as a career. And I'm going to start putting in the effort as if it is. And now I'm not going to be announcing my departure from anything yet. Like I'm still part of the UWC Blue Gold Esports program. You know, I'm still a player for them. I'm still a streamer. I'm still a content creator. I'm still a, an officer and maybe something more later on, right? But I am moving towards a content creation route because that's what I'm finding my passion in. And so I can't, I'm not announcing anything big like that, but just know that with this rebrand, there's gonna be a lot more content focused streams. Well, I will still be streaming scrims, maybe VOD reviews, and stuff like I'm typically doing, but you might see more variety going in, maybe like a variety day a week or something like that. And I'm gonna be uploading my YouTube channel more. You see, you'll see that I haven't uploaded much lately and I wanna change that. I wanna be uploading more. And so I'll be trying to uploading once a week at least, whether it be stream highlight or a unique video just for YouTube, I will be uploading once a week. And I think that's for the best. I think it's for the best that I upload more content obviously. But I'm putting a lot more effort into my content as well. Because there's definitely been situations where I've said I'll make more content and the content falls off because of such. Uh, especially August, I feel like my content wasn't too good. You know, obviously if you're watching and my Apex Legends gameplay during August, like the content was just kind of getting kind of stale towards the end. And so I think looking for everything fresh, it's going to be... Or it's gonna be a unique experience that I think is gonna drive me a lot forward and so going forward look to see more content from me and probably maybe with more collabs especially with like some of my friends like Mr. Whiskas and Jay Yoshi uh, and some a lot of other streamers that I'm friends with look to see more collab content with them you know what I mean that's something I'm gonna be looking for in the future as well right and I hopefully am going to be playing more games on stream, just get that variety in, but my core is still Overwatch, right? That's still where my passion lays. I still have a passion for competing in Overwatch as well, so I might even start like a stream team uh, just for, you know, kind of more meme and competing, but still competing. Uh, and I would be looking to possibly even change some things, how I compete with next semester, right? So as we move forward with this channel and for those who have stuck with me throughout all the different rebrandings you know all the way back from the middle school time where it was the infinite nerd who had to upload call of duty highlights or call of duty like oh i found a glitch and zombies you know to apex legends to overwatch to whatever game i wanted to play at the time thank you for sticking with me right people understand how much effort I put into this like there's so many viewers and so many people who have supported me throughout the years that I'm proud to start making content more like I'm I'm finally feeling I'm at a point in my life where I can focus more on content than anything else right and while I'm still focusing on school a lot just know that especially this upcoming summer you're gonna see a lot more content coming from me you're gonna see so much more. I'm not announcing any series yet or anything like that that'll come as things come along. But just know you'll see a lot more of 1010 this upcoming summer. And in some variety, in some way. So for now, let's go check out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash 
uh, 1010OW or my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash RF underscore 1010 or my Instagram, which is Evan underscore underscore Brown underscore. All right, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.